So I got a question asked by one of my subscribers saying, how do I know how much hair to add in when starting a box braid? So I already did a video on how to know how much hair to add in when doing a knot braid. So um, a, a knotless box braid. Uh, so you can watch that and I'll put it in the comment area. Uh, so let's assume you have all this hair, right? And this is the section of the hair that you want to box braid. You can see for sure that this is too big of a section to use to box braid this. Okay. If you are going for a distinct box braid, uh, you don't want this to weigh, put so much tension and weight on the hair. So you want to have equal amount of hair on the client's head as you pick on the hair right here so also remember when you're doing a box braid you're going to be sectioning the hair into three strands so you have three sections if that's the way you start your box braid and you're going to be um, box braiding the hair like that so you do want the hair that you add in to be at least close to the size of one of these strands so with that being said this is the size of one of the um, sections this is another size and this is another size right so let me make it much easier for you to see i'm going to spray this with a little bit of water so that we can demarcate it better okay so with that i'm going to section off the three sides so that's one side okay and then this is another side okay so now you can easily see the size so with that being said i'm gonna pick the hair size that goes closer to the size right here so you can see that the size is much closer instead of me using this big chunk on these strands so just take another one and i'm gonna do like a traditional box braid like how a lot of people start. So we have this hair like this. Now, the key thing is because I'm gonna cross, when I cross this over, one of this strand is gonna be double. So what you wanna do is that you wanna take one of this, make it slightly bigger than the other one. So you can see, I've already done that. This one is much bigger than this one. So when I cross my braid hair over like this, Okay, if this is how you turn it, the one that is of a smaller size will be joined up to make three. Okay, so this one, which was of the smaller size, I joined it up and you can see how all of them now look equal in size. So with that being said, I'm going to take the hair. Okay. And we're going to take this one, put that in the middle. Okay, so you have, depending on how you hold your braid, everybody holds their braid differently. And then this third one will join up with the third strand. And then I can start braiding that way. So just start your braid. And you can see all the strands of hair have the same size. Okay, I kind of started a little bit inwardly there, but you get the idea. They all have equal size. They all look equally the same. And so this is how you know what size you should make your box braid hair when you start using it. And just keep on braiding. I love this braid hair. You can find all the information also in the comment area. It's so nice and silky. Love it. So with that being said, let me just show you. And I also like this braid here because it doesn't tangle. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, the braids look uniform, very uniform, very neat. So I hope this answered your question. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.